I really try to be the kind of teacher that's going to push these students the way that I was pushed, and inspire them the way that I was inspired, that made me be like, wow, this is what I want to do. You don't have to be a musician, but the skills you get from, from these classes are going to be with you your whole life. So I think it's extremely important. It's not just them just coming in and playing in a jazz band. We are actually giving them all the historical information about what it is that they're playing, the, where it comes from, why it's important, you know, the history, just everything. So it's a sense of pride with Bounce Band. It's not we're just playing jazz standards here. No, it's not that. They know what this is about. So that's why this bounce band is pretty, pretty important to us because we're performing our music and we're becoming connected with our culture through music. One, two, three. Bounce band is basically, it could be anything. It could be pop music, it could be R&B, it could be soul, it could be Motown, it could be jazz. The kids learn how to improvise in this, which is basically you can take any note, multiple notes, and you create your own ideas. And that's what makes this group really unique, is that they can finally let go of what's on the page and really play something that they feel.
on that stage, you see Justin and I, um, as coaches, we, we hopefully continue the beautiful legacy that both of us are a part of uh, yeah. in the Philadelphia School District and music education. We were able to uh, reiterate advice that we were, that we've received at one point, you know, and to see these students fulfilling their roles at definitely. such a young age, it's, it's wild, you know? Definitely. It's, definitely. it's really wild. I think the experience of working with two amazing artists, Orrin Evans and Justin Faulkner, was amazing. They came in, did a little class before the recording session. And for them, I think having those two mentors there, they could kind of relax and play like themselves and have fun. Our orchestra is committed to the School District of Philadelphia. And in fact, they are our strongest partner in this music education work. When we create music education programs, we work collaboratively to ensure that everything we do meets their needs as well as the needs of all the students they serve throughout the city of Philadelphia. We know through our work together that music education is essential to continuing Philadelphia's great musical legacy. That's why this work is important. One of the challenges that we always face in music education, and, and it's a, a consistent advocacy challenge, is that we do focus a lot on the end product, and we don't talk enough about the process with our students. And so people will come to the concerts, and they will see you know, and hear the, the beautiful work that students have done. But it's really the magic that happens in the classrooms every morning, in the after school programs, right? It's that student who may be a little less inspired to go to school, but remembers it's their lesson day, and so. I think that's a cool thing about, I mean, just thinking about music education in general. It's great to see some kids going to music, but some kids who don't will take music as a major part of their life, but it gives me great solace to know that I, I played a part um, uh, in the life of this young person, in their development. But it gives purpose to playing the concerts that we play on stage, because I know there are folks in the audience who are looking forward to the music. We play, if we're playing Beethoven, we played it a million times, that kind of thing. But when I particularly know my students are out in the audience, it gives me that extra oomph. Because for a lot of them, it's the first time they've heard the, a Beethoven symphony. Some of them, it's the first time they've heard the orchestra. How do we advocate for more of this? I think advocacy is one of the, the most important roles we need um, from our entire community, and, and it helps to have it from, from our professional musical organizations. Um, but I think, you know, thinking back to in, in 2013 when we had some budget challenges, the conversation with our superintendent, Dr. Bill Hyde at the time, was that he heard very loud and clear from student groups and parent groups that the arts, uh, music specifically, were, were very high on the priority list of what people wanted to see in school. And school budgets are a very tricky thing and there's a lot of moving parts. But I think it's critical when, when school leaders and administrators hear not only from the students and their, their families, but you know, the, the community at large, our, our local politicians, our, our community leaders, uh, the impact that arts programs had on them and that they see on their students. You know, I always encourage parents uh, when they reach out, if, if there's a particular program they're interested in and is not at their school, you know, we always encourage them to, to reach out at the school level, but you know, also to make sure that they're heard, whether that's signing up at school board meetings or you know, attending city council hearings and opportunities. Our goal is that every single student in every school, public, charter, private school in the city of Philadelphia has access to music programs that start at the youngest grades, pre-kindergarten, kindergarten, and that they get that exposure in the elementary grades. And then when they get to middle school and, and high school, that they have multiple pathways for various instruments that they want to perform on. It'll make them better people, it'll make for a better city, um, a vibrant city, a connected city. Uh, and it, it, what an amazing story that we could say that music is what played a major role in making all that happen. <laughs> One of the exciting things that I don't know that was as anticipated as, as it's turned out to be so fruitful is the idea of mentorship that's come out of the partnership with the Philadelphia Orchestra and a number of other musical organizations. For the orchestra to actually now be meshed as part of this community, growing this program um, with the hopes that we can do it more often, grow, grow even more and uh, make it so that there are more young people who get to have these experiences. Now looking back, I don't know if I really knew how, how much uh, the music was keeping me off the street. Mm. And yes. so as I look around the room earlier today, I, I just, I can't wait to hear their story 10 years from now because I know today and situations like this will impact them for the rest of their life.